So today I'm just going to do a quick video, well maybe not a quick video, on functions. So, you've come across functions before, we've actually used functions before. I'll, I'll show you one function, okay? The first function I'll show you is the print statement. And we can print an argument, so the argument is a string called g, okay? doesn't really matter so much what the argument is, but basically a function often follows this kind of uh, structure. So I'm just going to use a single line comment. So function, function, um, parenthesis, this is, so that's the basis of a function, i.e. function. It may follow the following structure, a function or a function name, function name, parenthesis, argument argument so what that might be is function argument god why am i misspelling everything so what's an example an example is a print state mint i.e print is the name the function this name is followed by a parenthesis then inside the parenthesis is an argument i dot e dot the text slash number slash value slash values that we want to print okay so i'll break that down again so first off we have the function name which is print so print is a function and its name is print we then have the parenthesis and here you go it even it even comes up with it here in my uh, spider IDE, the arguments inside of this these parentheses, this function needs an argument, i.e. the value you want to print out. So in this case, the function name is print. We have our parentheses, and inside of those parentheses, we have an argument of type int of value 55. And the print statement should print out 55 as a string. And there we have 55 yeah quite quite simple now how do we make a function well first of all we use the keyword def which stands for define and then we make a function name so i'm going to call my function name uh small speech now you see how here i have an underscore and the second word starts with a capital letter. This is actually uh, basically me going by my own naming convention. Most people wouldn't do this. There, there's there's a few naming conventions. Some people have a the first the first uh, word of the function starts with a lowercase letter separated by an underscore. The second word would then be uppercase, or they might have it all in lowercase they may not even do this at all they may just uh, separate words by lower and uppercase uh, characters so here we have small speech like this and the way we can tell that small and speech are two different words is by the separation of the uppercase letter okay i'm just gonna do something simple like this in fact i'm gonna go completely against naming convention and just capital capital both of them doesn't really matter um, I'm not going to teach anyone anything about naming convention here or yeah how you should name functions or anything you do or even comment convention anything like that uh, just because there are so many different conventions that are used so I've made my argument name my argument name is small speech here 
here's my parenthesis. There is not going to be any argument for this uh, defined function this time, just so that you can get used to it. So let's write that down again. Define keyword, small speech, which is the function name, and then the parenthesis. This time, there are no arguments, i.e. there's nothing inside the parenthesis. As we press enter, you'll notice that my that there's some spacing in between this line and where my uh, code starts. Now, if I start writing here, uh, the, the text that I write into my function uh, will not be read by the function. So for my function, I have to use what's known as an indent. And an indent essentially is just one, two, three, four spaces from the start of a line is an indent in Python. Whenever you define any kind of function, you must have all the code that is part of that function indented. And in some circumstances, you may have to indent even more. So in this defined small speech, we're going to make a little print statement. And we are going to print this is the jolly speech. Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't matter so much that it means anything or not. And we're going to run that. And now our function, small speech, has now been written into the program. If I now write into the program the words small speech followed by parenthesis, and I execute this function, you'll see that it has actually printed out my text. Now, you might be thinking, what's the purpose of this? I could have printed this all out on my own. You're right, you could have just used a print function and you could have just done this yourself. But let's say that you have to use this, uh, this function many times. You have to print out this same statement many times. It's probably easy to just write out small speech uh, followed by parenthesis. Uh, than it is to write out this one print statement. But let's imagine this small speech really is a small speech. Yeah. But so with several print statements, we are the jolly, the jolly people. We come to bring joy to the land. We come in peace, we come in joy, oh praise thee, may joy prevail. Yeah, pretty weird little speech that I've made there. Right, let's just define that. Let's get rid of this, let's just completely undo that. And then let's write it again. Yep. See how long it took me to just write small speech rather than to make the entire uh, function. And then that's all of that. And I can do this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times. Saves me from copy and pasting that. And imagine if this was, let's say, a 400 line uh, speech. Even copy and pasting it would take longer than actually writing out the function name and calling it. So it's worth sometimes making uh, small 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 little functions like this okay now you might be wondering okay that's that's really cool and all but um what's all this about arguments you know what's all this about uh, functions with arguments so to make a function with an argument is quite simple so we use the def keyword first of all to start and to signal to java to to java sorry to python that we want to uh, define a function, then we make our function name. So we'll call it small, oops, small speech two. And now here inside the parenthesis, we add our argument. So we add name, for example, and number, for example, yeah. And then we print Something such as this is the jolly speech of oops 
speech of and then we add the name for example and then again we add the name has given speeches and plus the number actually we would want to convert this to string because if someone just gives us an integer as a number or a float as a number we will actually need to convert that to string or this will produce a big error so has given speeches number uh, no amount of times amount of times okay so let's copy and paste that in so you can see here that this now has two arguments so let's write it in small speech 2 and we'll put the name as Damon yeah we'll put the number as 55 okay and what we should say is what we should get is this the jolly speech of Damon Damon whoops has given f speeches 55 amount of times we'll just put 55 times actually the amount of times doesn't really make sense overlooking things a bit there so I'll rewrite that in so this is the jolly speech of Damon Damon has given speeches 55 times so you can see there how I've actually used you know two arguments here and I've also written in the two arguments in my now defined uh, function so what do you suppose will happen if we use this function but we don't give it any arguments well let's find out shall we nothing because it's an error because it needs those uh, it needs those arguments let's say that we use the first function small speech and we add an argument to it what's going to happen there take zero positional arguments but one was given so it's basically telling us that it doesn't need any arguments and because one was given it can't understand what we're trying to ask it to do or it's maybe suggesting that we've uh, misinterpreted or misused a function or we want to use another function so yeah basically functions are just ways of doing say you know big amounts of text or big big big, big things that you want to do uh, over and over again for example you might want to do a really complicated specific type of mathematics and the function for it doesn't already exist it probably does exist but let's imagine that it doesn't and you want to do this maybe thousands of times it saves a lot of time to write the one function to uh, do that kind of mathematical calculation once and just use that function name with your arguments rather than to to write out all these lines of code for example time and time again every time you want to calculate something yeah that's the idea of defining a function okay you could define a function let's say maybe uh, you are having a, a, a corporate speech you want to do so maybe it'll take the, the name of someone um, the position that they're applying to let's say someone's applying to a job and the uh, accepted or rejected status so this could be true for accepted and false for rejected and let's say for the name it will say name we regret to inform you if for example you've got false uh, f false value for the uh, fail or pass in fact I'll tell you what I'll, I'll just make the define header so define uh, corporate uh, announcement or response whatever so we'll use name uh, we'll use announce maybe I'm dyslexic you know maybe I'm dyslexic announcement not minute for announcement name and um, hmm, past 
Yeah. And if if not if it haven't passed, for example, it might say we regret to inform you name, but you have not passed, for example. And let's say that you did pass, it might say we are glad to inform you name that you have passed. A name would be obviously substituted for your actual name or the name given in the argument, yeah? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to expand on this quite a lot um, as it's quite an important and fundamental part of Python. And I'll show you how to import some of these at some point. Not sure if I'll do it in my basics, but I probably will. And we'll get into some more uh, complicated functions.